good morning students myself dr haribhau vagiri assistant professor department of botany maharaja jivajirao shinde mahavidyalay sri gonda dist ahmadnagar our college is affiliated to savitribai phule university of pune in this university the fibsc syllabus is cbcs pattern then what is cbcs pattern that is credit based choice system that is called cbcs pattern in this credit based choice system there are two credits for each paper in the each semester in first semester there are two papers bo 111 and bo 112 and the paper number second that is bo 112 is plant morphology and anatomy and this paper includes two credits in the first credit in the first credit there is a study of morphology in that morphological studies it studied about the introduction definition of morphology descriptive and interpretative morphology what is descriptive morphology it describe then what is interpretative morphology it gives interpretations about the plants then in that morphology chapter importance of that morphology in identification then nomenclature then classification phylogeny and plant breeding means importance of morphology in identification classification and nomenclature then about the phylogeny and plant breeding these three sub topics or sub articles are studied in this chapter first in chapter second the morphology of reproductive parts we know that the flower is a reproductive part of the plant and in that morphology of reproductive parts the first article is about inflorescence what is the definition of inflorescence the arrangement of flower on inflorescence axis that is called inflorescence then introduction and definition of this inflorescence that are studied in this second chapter then which are different types of inflorescence that is also studied in this chapter then there are two types of inflorescence first is racemose inflorescence that racemose inflorescence are again divided into sub types that is raceme spike spadix corium ambel catkin and capitulum inflorescens then second type is cymose inflorescence 
In that cymos inflorescence are again divided into subtypes. That is solitary cyme, monocasial cyme, polycasial cyme, dicasial cyme. Then what about monocasial cymes? Monocasial cymes are again divided into helicoids, monocasial cymos inflorescence. And monocasial scorpioid cymos inflorescence. And there are some special types of inflorescence are also found in the plants. Then which are different special type of inflorescence are included in our syllabus? First is multicellular inflorescence. Second is Cyathium inflorescence and third is Hypanthodium type of inflorescence. Then what is the significance of this inflorescence that are also included in our syllabus? Then, second article after this inflorescence is about the flower. We know that flower it is a very attractive and a reproductive part of the plants that are also included in the syllabus in that flower, introduction of flower, definition of flower. Then which are different parts of typical flower. We have studied this from childhood, class from class 9 till we are going to learn about the flowers. Then what is bract, what is pedicel, what is thalamus, then which are the different forms of the thalamus that are also included in our syllabus for study. Then what is about perianth, then what about calyx, what about corolla, about androsia and gynosia. That are the different parts of the flower. And we are going to learn about these different parts of the flower. Then, after this, there is a, another article which is included in our syllabus that is about symmetry. Then, there are two types of symmetries are there actinomorphic and zygomorphic symmetry. Then next article about this is sexuality. What is sexuality? Means flowers are of which sex? Either androsium is there or gynosium is there or neutral is there. What about? That is sexuality. In that sexuality Unisexual flowers, bisexual flowers, we know that what about unisexual flowers when either male or female part is present in the flower that is androsium or gynosium and they, that is called unisexual flowers. Then what about bisexual flowers? Both sexes are present, androsium and gynosium. That is called bisexual flowers. Then what is the insertion of floral holes? The arrangement of that floral folds on thalamus. This is a solar part, thalamus. And the insertion of that floral parts on that thalamus is also included in our syllabus. Then on the basis of that arrangement, the flowers are again divided into different types. That is hypogyny. Epigyny and perigyny. Then the conditions of the flowers, which are different conditions. Trimerous conditions, tetramerous conditions, and pentamerous conditions. In this terminology, there are numbers. Tri means three. Tetra means 4 and Penta means 5. 
means the flower can be dissected in different numbers. You can equally divide it. You can equally divide that flower into different parts. And on the basis of that, the merest conditions are there. Tetramerous, pentamerous, and trimerous. Then what about next article? That is floral holes is the next article. Then what is floral holes? That is calyx. What about the nature of the calyx? Is it, is it is polycephalous or gamocephalous? What is polycephalous? Sepals are free. What about gamocephalous? Sepals are united. We cannot differentiate that sepals. Then estivation of this. Then estivation types. Then modification of calyx. That is papus calyx, petaloid calyx, and spurred calyx. These three types of calyx are also present. Then what about corolla? And which are the different forms of the corolla? Then what are the polypetalous condition? When the petals are free, that is called polypetalous. Then types of corolla, cruciform corolla is there. Papillonesis corolla is there. What about gamopetalous condition? If we are not differentiate easily the petals, that is called gamopetalous. Means petals are united. They are united. And that petal, gamopetalous corolla gives again different forms. That is the infundibuli form corolla. Bilabiate corolla. Bi means two. Labiate means lobes. There are two lobes to this flower, to this corolla. Then tubular corolla. It looks like a tube. Therefore tubular corolla and campanulate corolla. In this way there are different types of corolla. Then what about estivations? What is the types of estivations? Then which are the significance of estimations that are going to learn in this uh, syllabus. Then about periods. What is period? What is the definition of period? What is the nature of period? What is polytepalus? What is gamotepalus? When tepals they are united, that is called gamotepalus. When that petals, when that tepals are free, polytepalous condition. Then, androsia, structure of typical stamen, then variations, oheja and adheja, arrangement of that stamen on the androsia, that is called cohesion and adheja. The gynosia, it is a male female reproductive structure of the flower that is called gynosia. Then, what is the structure of that gynosia? What is the typical structure of that carpel? Then, how many carpels are there? Means number of carpels. Then, position superior, inferior. That is the position of the carpels. Then cohesion, adheja. Placentation, how placenta is there? Then types of placentations and its significance. And its significance is the main parts, main article going to learn. Then after pollination and fertilization, there is a formation of fruits, we know that. And that chapter or the article fruit is also included in our syllabus. Then 
an introduction and definition of the fruits then types of fruits how many types of fruits are there simple fruit is there fleshy fruit is there aggregate fruit is there and multiple fruit is there then what about simple fruit in simple fruits indigestion fruit is also there in that indigestion that are again divided into aki sipsela nut or carnosis then in dehiscent fruit the dehis at after maturity and in dehiscent fruit the legumes are there the follicles are there and capsules are also there then what about fleshy fruits in fleshy fruits there is a drupe there is a berry hesperidium and pepo then what about aggregate fruit aggregate fruit are again divided into etheri of berries and etheri of follicles and what about multiple fruits multiple fruits are again divided into two types of fruits that is sicarus and sorosis we know that fig we have itar that are included in this multiple type of fruits and this syllabus are included in credit first then about second credit in credit second there is a some anatomical characteristic features we are going to learn about the anatomy what is anatomy internal structure of the plants that is called plant anatomy then definition and introduction about the anatomy then importance of this anatomy in taxonomy importance of anatomy in physiology importance of anatomy in ecological interpretations then pharmacognosy and food identifications means introduction or importance of this anatomy in different aspects that is pharmacognosy and food identification also then another article is the types of tissues which type of tissues are present in the plants that we have to we should be known in this and due to that the that part of syllabus is included in fibc cbcs pattern then types of tissues outline and with brief description simple and complex tissues then meristematic tissue what about meristem characters based on the origin position and plane of division functions of the meristematic tissues that is also included in our syllabus then permanent tissues what about permanent tissue in that permanent tissue we are going to learn about simple tissues parenchyma collenchyma chlorenchyma and sclerenchyma cells or tissues the next article is the complex or vascular tissues in that complex of vascular tissues which are different components of xylem and phloem then types of vascular bundles and functions which type of vascular bundles are present in dicot which type of vascular bundles are present in monocot that are also included in our syllabus then epidermal tissues what is epidermal tissues what is epidermis what is the structure of typical stomata what is trichome what is motor cells what is the functions of that motor cells what is the function of epidermal tissues and next to this syllabus 
there is an internal organization of primary plant bodies. How primary plant body are organized internally? Which are different organs are there? Which are different tissues are there? Which are different cells are there inside? That is called anatomy. Then the internal structure of the icotyledon and monocotyledon plants. For dicotyledon, we are going to learn about the stem, leaves and root of sunflowers. Then internal structure of dicotyledon and monocotyledon stem. Internal structure of dicotyledon and monocotyledon leaf means the structure of dicot and monocot in relation to root stem and leaf. These three articles or these three uh, syllabus, this, uh, this is the syllabus which is included for our credit system FIBSC. And when we are going to learn about this syllabus, there are different books that should be referred. Till now, we are not referring different reference books, but for the graduation levels, there should be always or you must read different reference books by different authors. That is Dutta AC, uh, Botany for degree student, that is very nice book. It should be, uh, you can be. Uh, do enable that book and you can read that, you can take different references from it for the uh, anatomical features we can, we can use Isau K that is anatomy of seed plants, the Lawrence uh, taxonomy of vascular plants, the Nike Fear, the taxonomy of angiosperm that are the different books you should be referred while learn about the graduation study. Okay students, in the next video we are going to learn directly for our syllabus. Thank you. Thank you.